A path is an element that allows us to display the name and location of a page within the title. When we put it on a master page, it reads the information in the course structure and displays it on each page. To display a page, we have to click on the path icon in the content item bar and then on the spot of the page where we want to place it. We configure its appearance in the properties area. We give it a clear name and define the appearance of its text. We can also modify the alignment and the orientation of the text so that one element may be displayed below or next to another element. If we use a horizontal orientation, we can also include a separator between items. We can also change the order in which items are displayed, from the title level to the page level, or inversely, from the page to the title level. An icon can be displayed in front of each different item, depending on whether it's a title, a heading, or a page. We can decide whether to show the scroll bar or not, and when. We can also define which elements should be shown in the path. If we do not want to display the full path, the option Start Offset allows us to indicate the number of levels counting from the title that are not going to be shown. For example, if we write 1 in this field, the first level starting from the top will be cut. You may want to hide some levels starting from the bottom, i.e. from the page level. In this case, we must put the correct number in the End Cutoff field. We can limit the number of levels to be displayed. In this case, we can choose to display them from the title or from the page. If we add the value 0, all levels will be shown. By enabling the Page Only option, only the name of the page will be displayed, regardless of the settings that we may have made.